Hey guys, Repos here, and welcome back to some Man Eater. And this time, breaking down the last live stream before launch, I think. I think this might be the last live stream before launch, but, anyways. So, in this one, there is a lot to go through, so grab a seat, grab something to drink, and let's get into it. Or food, whatever. Whatever you want. So, Shag News was at the wheel of this stream, along with the game director, Bill Monk. So that was pretty cool to see those two going at it, throwing questions at each other, and obviously Shaq News playing the game. Uh, so basically, let's start off with the reason why we are playing a bull shark is because the bull shark is able to swim and survive in fresh and salt water. So that is the reason why we are playing as this bull shark. So bull sharks are probably the only shark that can survive in fresh and salt water. So they've done that research, so that is pretty awesome to know that they obviously know that. There is a day and night cycle, so that's pretty cool, we already know that. It's very interesting as well, so you'll see more humans during the day and less at night, so that's kind of obvious. You wouldn't see, like right now, people going to the beach at night, so that's pretty Pretty good, to be honest, more people during the day and less at night, so we'll see how much less people will be at the beach during the night and more during the day. I think there'll be a lot more, so we'll, we'll have to see for that one. There is four different nutrients in the game, and these are fat, protein, minerals, and something called Mutagen X. Mutagen X is used to upgrade your evolution levels to higher levels. Mutagen X, Mutagen X, oh, that is a weird word to say fast. Also comes from albino creatures, so keep an eye out from them. And we'll get back to the albino creatures in a minute. A little bit more on them as well, so here's just what I've got down on my notes. A good place to find albino, albino creatures is in the sewers, as they have a higher chance of being in there. There'll be a bit more on albino creatures down below so let's move on the current evolution sets that we know of are bone bioelectric and as we have all seen both of them there is the shadow evolution that we have not seen yet so i'm guessing they are keeping that on the low so players can find it for themselves i did hear that there was a another evolution set so we'll get to that in a minute as these questions came out I'm doing this as the stream goes on, so this is pretty cool. So, basically, we want to move down. <laughs> there was something about when you level up, you get bigger. That will change a lot of the gameplay as you play. For example, when fighting the alligator at level 1 or 2, you would normally choose to attack it. So, it would hit you harder, and you would have to take your time attacking it. So... The more you grow, the more you level up, the less chance you'll get grabbed, basically. So, the bigger you get, it will it will have difficulty trying to grab you, and once you get to the highest level, or as big as you can get, they will not be able to grab you in your mouth, so you can come back, get revenge on them, because they will probably bully you quite a lot during the early days of the game, or well, early levels of gameplay. So, if you want to go on a alligator killing spree, then you can do that later on down the line. So that is something that I found really interesting, and could probably work for other things. We also know the level cap is at level 30, so that's a pretty solid middle ground to go on. I have, a f if they are planning, they are playing DLCs, they could probably bump up the levels maybe to 10, 10 more, to 40 or to 50, depending on what they want to do. So if they want to increase the level, then I see no issues in that. I don't know if they'll increase how big we get if they do DLC, but we will have to wait and see for that. There is an evolution that we don't know about and what it looks like but it is called the amphibious evolution now this is one that we as i said don't know anything about but we do know where you can get this and you can get this by defeating rosie the apex alligator in the far twig bayou this will be able to let you breathe out of water for longer and other things i think 
I only heard that it only lets you breathe out of water for a various period of time, so that's pretty cool. So, back to the albino creatures in the game. These obviously give you special items, the Mutant X, and they are used for upgrading evolution. So, if you want to get your sh evolution really, really strong, I would hunt them down, and they are random. This is in the open world. If you go to the sewers, they'll definitely or have a chance of being there, so don't quote me on that. They're 50-50 on that one. But when you're swimming around, you may have a chance of encountering them during that. The ones that I saw in the live stream were the albino barracudas and albino alligators. They're the only ones that I could pick out from the stream. So there's probably a few more or a lot more albino creatures that are in the game so that would be pretty cool there isn't a certain amount so you can you can't just kill every albino and then that's it you're done with upgrades so if you want to upgrade uh, say you've fully upgraded the bio bioelectric and you wanted to upgrade the bone evolution to match the bioelectric you can do that there won't be a capped number of albino creatures so they thought about that and that is a good idea I do like that so moving on to how to get the um, first evolution so during the live stream um, shark shark news I should say sorry <laughs> was attacking the humans out on the beach to get bounties or the bounty hunters to show up once he killed enough humans the bounty hunters showed up and he then killed the bounty hunters then the guy called by Bayou Willie, he showed up and after I I saw that um, he paused the menu and scrolled over to the, um, the bounty hunters and I got a quick glimpse of what the rewards are for defeating Bayou Willie and that is the bioelectric evolution. So it's pretty sweet that you could get that as early as possible. That is something that I would probably be doing. As well as getting the bioelectric evolution, you can you get also nutrients and all that other stuff for you. So that is pretty cool to know that getting killing the bounty hunters grants you evolutions, but I don't know if all of them are tied to evolu um to the evolution system. So we'll have to wait and see if the bounty hunters all give evolutions. So yeah, gotta wait and see on that one. Also, interesting fact that I kind of saw it was when you die Chris Parnell just throws facts at you and one of the facts that he threw was because Shaq News died due to alligators Chris Parnell said he uh, said something about seven year olds fight alligators with golf clubs which apparently is a true fact I don't know that because there's no alligators in the UK so I wouldn't know but apparently that is a true fact bill monk did confirm this and it's i would say it's pretty much of an insult saying you suck so get better at killing alligators but that's really interesting to me there is also a secret evolution that is tied with landmarks around each zone so once you collect them all you will unlock this special evolution i'm not entirely sure what it's called or what it is so we'll have to wait and see for that for those on PC, there is no mod system at launch. They have put all their time and effort into actually making the game. Obviously, the company is modders, and they will obviously probably do something with mods eventually, but right now they're doing focusing on the game. This also supports ultra wide screens for PC people, so if you've got an ultra wide screen, then you've got that ultra wide feeling. So that's pretty cool. For the Switch version, they are hard at work making it the best that the game can be on the Switch, so we won't see it anytime soon, so they just want to make sure that it can be the best game for the Switch, so that is pretty cool to me, so I'm going to obviously be waiting for the Switch version as well, so when I'm out and about, hopefully out and about, we can I can then play the game on my own time, which is pretty cool. So, we are 8 days away from the game coming out, and I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and thank you for 250 subscribers. I know I have more, I don't want to clarify the number, but 250 subscribers to me is a big deal. I'm very happy with where I'm at right now, and all the support, 
and I read every single comment that I get. So thank you so much for supporting me and making stuff move forwards. I'm going to be covering this game for as long as I can and obviously I'm going to get my gameplays out there and guides to getting all the, I guess, landmarks and whatnot on the number plates. So yeah, you'll get to see everything and I will make sure that I will cover everything for this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Peace.